Okay, hey y'all, it's your girl Keisha K here, back with another video. Um, as you can see, I'm not in the car. Proud of me. Um, that's because I managed to get the house. Not get the house, but the house is quiet right now. Um, the lighting is spot on. The weather is nice. I was like, there's no noise except that one. Um, that's my mama's little singing clock. But... I'm gonna just talk over it if y'all are bothered by it. Oh well, sorry. Um, but anyway, today's video is gonna be about being a model with anxiety, being an entertainment, being an actress that suffers from generalized anxiety disorder. Just an insight on it, how anxiety affects me. Um, I just want to educate some people. You know what I mean? Cause I'm sick of I'm sick of MFers saying anxiety isn't real. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, period, point blank. Okay, so anyways, if y'all want to hear some information, if y'all want to be educated on this beautiful Saturday, keep watching. So, as y'all know, I am a model. Um, I'm starting to get in film. Let me adjust my legs. Um, I'm starting to get in film work. I've done a decent amount of background work. I've been in a couple music videos. You know, you know, your girl is in entertainment now or just, you know, starting to get there. So mm, this, this happened when I was trying to go live like all day yesterday, but with me personally, one, I just want to spit this out here. Um, you can do your own research. My ear is itching because of this hair. You can do your own research um, to find like the specific ways they put it. But with me, I do suffer from generalized anxiety disorder. Not just, oh, I'm nervous that of this big thing that's coming up or, oh, I'm nervous of things that would normally cause anxiety. No, anxiety disorders are usually, you know, when, um, I'm missing so many nails. This is so gross. Um, you know, and can usually tell that something just ain't right because your anxiety, you start tripping over things that you've done multiple times throughout the week for years. You know what I mean? Um, the trigger, so with human beings, um, anxiety is extremely normal. You're supposed to experience anxiety. Um, that's a normal human response. So let's say you see something that's scary. I'm so sorry. I'm burping and, and shit and trying to be smart. Um, you see something that's concerning. So an external stimu stimulus that will tri trigger that anxiety response. Anxiety disorders, especially with mine, it doesn't need to be... A, an external stimulus that is threatening literally my anxiety will trip if i just even want to go to walmart y'all just going to walmart um and it makes it hard like it really makes day-to-day -day life really difficult like y'all like before i started to get my anxiety under control a lot better than you know that it is better now but back before i had it i really tried to understand it and i kind of had it in control um, I missed a lot of events with friends. I missed a lot of social gatherings. I missed concerts. I, who, like y'all, like anxiety was controlling who I talk to, where I go, when I go, if I go at all, you know what I mean? And that's not how I, that's not how everybody, anybody wants to live their life. Nobody wants to oh i just want to go to walmart or hey i'm thinking about just going up the street to the store or hey i want to travel to this place that's not too far away or hey i want to hang out with this person blase 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 um and like you can't because you just start panicking and it's not even necessarily thoughts that that are like oh, I'm scared, like, this will happen. Like, at least in my experience, keep in mind, I'm speaking from my experience only, um, it's not so much specific thoughts. It's really more so, I don't know. Like, it's, I notice that sometimes when things seem like they might be a little bit of a sensory overload, like, for example, like, concerts. Y'all, concerts look so fun. I've never been to a concert unless it was, like, 
some little rinky dink like people are performing at some kind of event or something i've never been to a concert because the volume of concerts something about it i i it 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 messes with my anxiety it's like that's oh like i feel like it's gonna be too much like too much of a auditory overload and then on top of that you got people crammed in the building and scream like it thinking about it kind of like stresses me out now even though it looks so fun i always want to go to concerts it's just the anxiety that comes with it sometimes it really takes a lot of mental preparation for me to do things that's why i was friends usually unless you know we're a certain level of closeness um on the spontaneous like hey let's do this that gives me anxiety sometimes um i don't know exactly why it kind of varies from situation to situation to situation but <sighs> these are just some examples of how my anxiety got me effed up you know what i mean um and when it comes to like modeling and stuff like there have been a few times where like i canceled not canceled, but I pushed a photo shoot to another day because I was tripping. Like, can't entirely explain why, but I was just panicky. I was just panicky. And with me, my anxiety, it gets... Okay, I'm going to try to, like, walk y'all through the process. So, something non-threatening will happen. I kind of start, like, feeling it. Like, it kind of, like, starts here. Like, I start feeling, like, just weird there. Um, and then I do, I have, like, my little habits or whatever. Like, when I'm, like, nervous or anxiety, like, I know what y'all are going to say. Um, but I have a bad habit of, like, plucking my hair out. Like, not just sitting there and, like, boop, boop, boop. But no, but, like, when I'm nervous, like, I touch my hair a lot. Like, I pulling on something pulling on my hair is like so relaxing and pulling on it enough your hair will come out you know what I mean um I have a lot of like just little habits and shit um that I'm working on because some of them just genuinely are just not healthy um but it kind of like starts with that and then I start the overthinking like starts and the thing is is that with me when I overthink it's not so much of like, oh, I'm thinking too hard about it. I'm thinking too hard about it. I'm thinking obsessively about it. I'm thinking about it in every way, shape, and form that my brain, within the context of what I know in my brain. You know what I mean? Like, it's, oh, like, it, it's frustrating. It's annoying. Like, sometimes you don't want, you hate when certain things happen because you know you're going to obsessively think about it. And there's no, you can control it to a certain extent. Like I'm right now, like I'm trying to learn how to control my obsessive thinking just a little bit more. Um, but it's really hard to control because y'all, it's hard to control. That might be another video. Um, and I, it, it, especially if my anxiety starts to get, it starts to escalate. And like when my anxiety starts to escalate or in certain situations, it won't start here and go up. Sometimes it'll be boom, it's up here off the jump. Or it'll it'll start at any point in the in, in the line, you know what I mean? But when it starts to get to a certain point like y'all like it's almost like I can't hear. It's like my senses are no longer there. It's like I can't hear, I can't breathe like there have been situations where my anxiety like i felt like i genuinely could not breathe like i felt like i was suffocating um my vision starts to kind of waver waver like i'm in like 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 i'm writing a novel like this is a romance novel but it does like it starts to go like when i'm panicking like i, I don't see what's going on to the full extent like, I see it, but in my eyes are not processing it. I can kind of hear noise, but I can't hear exactly what's being said, what's going on. Like, I don't know. Like, it's weird. Like, it's almost like you're in, oh, uh, like, I don't know. It's like you're in, like, a very strange space. 
And the more that I experience it, like I'm trying to, you know, really keep track of it. So that way I'm able to like, just pick up things and like constantly just work on it. Like, and that part of that is just paying attention to how you react to certain things and what goes on when you start reacting, when your anxiety starts firing off when there's no reason to. Um, it, it's kind of scary. Like whenever I tell people, it's like my natural five senses just kind of like dip on me for a little bit. They're like, well, this is a lot. So we just gonna bounce. Um, it kind of is scary because mentally, ugh, like it, it, it's a lot, like it's literally like you walked into fog and you're just stuck in fog and you don't know how long you're going to be stuck in fog. You're just stuck in fog until somebody's like, here, here's a fan to, here's a fan to blow it all away, to clear up what's going on um, or to, or whatever. Like it's really no like time limit. <sighs> So sometimes I can get, <coughs> I'm so sorry, that's disgusting. Um, there are times, so far with like my entertainment experience, I haven't really experienced too many like panic attacks like that. Um, I've definitely like gotten like really, really nervous before getting on set, before doing a photo shoot. Like I said, like there have been times where I had to just reschedule because I was, mm, I was losing my mind too close to the photo shoot and I just I couldn't get not the courage but I couldn't get the courage the strength whatever to just step outside of my home like in, mm, anxiety is ridiculous it really really is and then now that I'm you know I'm, I'm getting ready to like start traveling as y'all know I'm moving to Houston later this year um I know that my anxiety is probably going to start to go up a little bit more around that time, but Texas has a lot of work and I really want to just drive back and forth to Texas until I move out there so I can like get my foot in the door out there and start working more out there. My travel anxiety, y'all, is ridiculous. I don't understand anyone's going to get nervous kind of with traveling, especially to a different state, whether you've been there or not. Maybe, maybe it's just me. Um, but like, I'll, oh, just the thought of like the drive. And it's not so much of it's like, oh, it's like a long drive. But like, I don't know, something about the drive and then thinking about the traffic out there like really messes with me. And it's like, damn, like, I'll be ready to go. And then I'll like, start tripping and then I just won't go like for example today I I'm working on a script if you guys saw my last video um my writing partner is in Dallas so I was gonna go out there this weekend so me and him can work on some work on the script work on ideas um hang out you know like because we really don't know each other that well so it's just like getting to know each other a little bit more you know um and things didn't work out, so I'm no longer going. But things didn't work out for a reason. Um, but like the entire, I still could go to Texas because I have a friend out there that's like, girl, like when you get here, like let's hang out. But it's, oh, like it's the anxiety. Like anxiety really, if you can't conquer your anxiety um, or learn mechanisms to deal with it like anxiety will run your life anxiety will ruin your life for real for real it's terrible like not i'm not even going to sit here and cap like i did used to take anxiety medication a lot of people don't know that about me um hmm but now you do um and it made me real the specific type i had made me really sleepy but it really, it I felt like it was helping with my anxiety. Um, and I stopped taking it because I thought that, oh, I'm smoking weed. Yes, I smoke. I smoke whatever everybody does, if we're being honest. Um, smoking only got me so far to where it was starting to enhance my anxiety. Like, I don't know. I feel like, me personally, I personally feel like it's just going to take a lot of 
really paying attention to exactly what I am feeling, being a little more conscious during my panic attacks and my blackouts um, to like really understand like, okay, like these are your reactions, like learning how to like control them um, or not control them, but manage them better. Also, I kind of feel like I could go back to counseling. Um, not everybody knows that about me either, but I was in counseling for a little bit one for my anxiety but two like I needed an outlet and the time I started counseling a lot of when I move or the closer it gets to me moving y'all will hear the story that I've been waiting to tell for like three years about how my ex my be ex best friend at this point um got jealous I got jealous or whatever his situation. It's, it's a long story, but how they messed up my car. They tried to jump me. And in the whole background, they doing some weird incest shit. Like, y'all, I can't wait. I can't wait to tell that story. I don't give no Fs. I don't give no shits. Not one, not two, not three. Not three. Um, But that's not what this video is about, though. But I wasn't counseling during that time because I was about to KMS. For real. Like, I've never had anybody try to destroy me as much as these this group of people. Um, and there, I mean, not therapy, but counseling really, really helped. I was going to counseling through my college, but <sighs> I could go back to that. It's a little hard going to counseling at the university, um, especially since I've been gone so long. But, you know, finding finding some kind of outlet to where... I have a professional to help me manage. Um, anxiety is a trip. I got a burp. My bad. I'm burpy. I'm always burpy when I'm talking. But I'm a little tired. If y'all are wondering, like, why she look like that? Why she keep closing her eyes and swaying? I'm not faded. I'm not in the clouds. I'm, I kind of just woke up. Um, I was just thinking about this, and I'm like... I really want to give, I want to make several videos about and be, having like generalized anxiety disorder and being a model, having generalized anxiety disorder and being a human being, like just what it's like because anxiety, I'm telling y'all, anxiety disorders are real. Anxiety disorders can just ruin your life and people refuse to believe that anxiety Disorders are real. Everyone has anxiety. Listen to the beginning of my video where I said everyone has anxiety. It's normal, but it's not normal when your anxiety is mi is misfires or when it fires often in situations that it shouldn't. That's how you know something is off. That's how I knew something was off. Um, but anyway, this is at least the first video in the little series that I want to do. If I'm able... If I'm comfortable and able enough to capture panic attacks on camera um, or anything, like, I'll try to just so you guys can kind of see. Um, no promises, though, but I'm, I want to try to, like, show more of, like, what it's like. Like, if I'm panicking, like, I want to get on here and, like, so you guys can see how I, how my body movement, so you guys can see what comes out of my mouth and like my train of thought and how fast I'm t talking and all of it. I want y'all to see all of it. So sorry, my mom's coming in the house, but until then I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, follow my social medias. If you guys have anxiety or other disorders, let me know in the description. Like you're talking to somebody that was a psychology major. Like I love, learning about mental disorders so because the more we learn about each other the more we can help each other and then everyone gets better together so nobody is suffering you feel me you feel me so until then till my next video i will see you guys later thank you so much for listening to me i really appreciate it and subscribe i'll see you guys later bye guys